All right, I wanted to do an update for 2024. I get a lot of questions about cartridges, pods, and uh, edibles. Um, a lot of people don't ask about flour, I guess, because it's easier to bring concentrates in pen form, but uh, I brought quite a few things this time, so I want to go over how I did it. First, I want to show you I brought some flour. I just actually have like a bunch of snacks, some like cookies, chips, water. Uh, so in there I threw some edibles. I've got a little bit left in this pack. This is the pack I was eating on the plane. I always bring two packs. So I have a pack when I make my return flight to the United States. So I did bring two packs, um, but I kept them separate in case these ones were found. Hopefully this other bag didn't get searched. So I have a whole other bag uh, for when I fly back to the United States. So that's two things of edibles. And then in here I also uh, threw some flour. I think this is like maybe a little over a half. I had an ounce and I shoved as much as I could into these two little foil packs. I just kind of put one inside the other and they have a clear um, side. So I flipped it so that inside here you wouldn't be able to see the flour and I could just throw it in there. I figured this is all, you know, very similar if, when it goes through the x-ray. So no issues there. Um, in Rachel's bag, she had a little toiletry bag with some medications and stuff. And in the bottom of that, I put, nice, it didn't leak or anything. I put a, an ounce of uh, diamonds and sauce. Ooh, that was on there good. So there's that, I got an ounce of diamonds and sauce. And the lid that doesn't want to go on. So here's my haul. Here's my flower. Here's my flower. So you may see a drastic change in my appearance. It's because I didn't realize that video had stopped recording. And when I went to actually post it, uh, I had already like shaved my head and stuff. But getting back to the point, um, I carry this in that backpack as well, back and forth. And what I use this for is to store my charging cords and my power blocks and stuff. So inside here, I actually just had a couple of disposables and a couple of cartridges. So I don't have pods. I, I generally don't use pods. I, in fact, I don't think I've ever used a pod, um, but it would be the same. It'd be the same thing, like a small concentrate filled device. Um, they didn't pay any attention to it. And then also <clears throat> I brought this uh, yo can that I had just bought. So this was actually clean when I brought it. So had they found it, it would have been irrelevant, but just to show you, they don't check these types of things. And I brought the whole box and stuff because I intend to leave this one here at my home here. But so it was just the whole box in my backpack like this. And um, they actually don't have you take your large electronics out. I don't think we even had, you don't even have to take out your laptop at the Boston uh, airport. Uh, so that was with their new x-rays. They're like these really trippy new x-rays that actually build like a 3D map of what's inside your bag and like layers and stuff. So that's with the new stuff. I brought all this, uh, with the new x-rays, I brought all this stuff and I had no issues. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of uh, 2024 travels with the flower. I had uh, concentrate, edibles, um, cartridges, this smoking device and also uh, a pipe here I'll show you here at the end. Just a little bonus uh, video I actually brought this pipe too this pipe was cleaned uh, before I flew so even if they found it there wouldn't have been any issue with this. I actually found this while I was working in Florida in the hallway of the hotel I was staying in. <laughs> Someone just like left it laying on the floor with a lighter so I snagged it and cleaned it and I brought it back here to my house in Spain.